All right, guys, I want to talk to you about breathing and bracing and spinal and pelvis position during our loaded squats. It doesn't matter if we're doing a back squat or a front squat. I'm going to use the back squat here today, but I want to show you a couple things that we want to think about when we're doing any sort of loaded squat. And the cool thing about this is this will translate over to, like I said, any loaded squat, goblet squat, a waiter squat, a dumbbell front squat, a thruster. This could even translate the breathing and bracing approach and the uh, the relationship between the spine and the pelvis can even translate to other movements like a press, push press, deadlift, and whatnot. So we are going to get ourselves underneath the barbell. We'll bring the barbell on back, okay? The top position here is the best position to organize our body and our breath. So that means this is where I breathe in, pressurize my trunk. This is where I exhale. This is my safe zone, okay? I can actually stand with a good amount of load on my back rack or my front rack in this position when my joints are stacked. This is the safest position we can be in. So we wanna make sure that when we are resetting our breath, when we're resetting our brace position, it happens here, okay? So let me show you a couple reps. Okay? And remember, when we're bracing in this position, we're thinking about creating 360 degrees of tension, like a filled soda can, all right, around our trunk as if we were going to take a punch or a kick to the front sides or back of our abdomen. That is the appropriate brace. Now, other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is descending into our reps. Let me show you a poor descent into our reps. Let me show you again. You see what I'm doing there? I am called this disassociating our pelvis from our spine. All that means is that I'm overextending my spine to initiate my movement, and this is not good for our back. Okay? So, from this position, instead, what I want to think is I want to think hips back, shoulders forward as I descend into my squat. If you notice, my spine stays straight. Watch one more time. Hips back, shoulders forward, I stay connected. My spine and my pelvis stay connected rather than over arch and start my squat, okay? So if the hips go back, okay, the shoulders have to go forward just a little bit if I'm gonna keep my spine in a connected position. And that's very, very important whenever we are doing our squat in general, okay? Hips back, shoulders forward just a little bit as the knees bend rather than over arch at my spine and then start my descent. We want to make sure that we keep the pelvis and the spine stacked and connected through our movement rather than starting one before the next.